you to hear at URE Farm. It's another beautiful day in October. Really nice out here, sun shining, temperatures just right. I want to welcome you to our farm today. And I want to show you my first attempt at growing ginger. Now I'm pretty pleased with this since I've never done this before. So I want to clean this up a little bit and then see what I've got here. As I said in my last video, I grew turmeric this year for the second time, but this is the first time I've grown ginger. I want to make some fermented vegetables today, and I wanted to include ginger and turmeric in that, so I decided to go ahead and take out one of the ginger plants. I read in some of my research that the immature ginger is more tender and more suitable for fermenting, so I hope this is going to work out very well. Okay, you see that? I think that looks good. Next year, I hope to get an even earlier start and try to do even better then, but I think that looks good. Now let's go see the other plants I have left that I haven't dug yet. Now this is where I just dug up that uh, ginger plant that I just showed you and you can see I have several more here and then I've got a lot of comfrey growing around here and then I have some more ginger over here I planted it here so it would get some shade from the pear trees and also uh, would get a little bit of sunshine I thought that might be good conditions for it to grow you can see that frost hasn't got here yet like it did in our other garden. So this hasn't been hurt yet, so I'm going to leave it a while yet. And when I do take it up, I intend to go ahead and get some started in the house in potting soil to be developing for next year. I want to take you back for just a minute and show you how I got this ginger started. And uh, then after that, we'll go in the house and I'll put together my fermented vegetables that I'm using my ginger and my turmeric that I grew in. The first thing that I did was plant my ginger rhizomes in this seed tray and covered them with some good potting soil. And after several weeks, they had grown new ginger plants. I took off the new plant and then I put the rhizome back in the soil so that it could grow more ginger plants. I used yogurt cartons to pot these new ginger plants. Uh, first of all, I made a hole in the bottom of the uh, yogurt carton so water could drain and then I set that carton in another yogurt carton so it could catch water that might drain out of the first carton. Then I set them in a window in my house to grow until they were ready for the garden. Now these are the vegetables I plan to put together in a half gallon jar. I've got my ginger and turmeric and cauliflower and garlic and carrots. Now I need to cut these up and then I'll get them in the jar and I can put it together. This is the culture I've chosen to use in here to get it started fermenting. Okay, I've got everything in the jar now. 
Now all it needs to do is set it room temperature for 7 to 10 days and then it should be ready. And I'll keep an eye on it and see if I need to loosen the lid to let the gases release. And uh, just be sure it stays covered with liquid. And after that time it should be ready and then I can store it in the refrigerator. Okay, that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great day and as always remember if you have comments or questions, I would love to hear from you.